Rich, you've signed up to uh, another year here at Derby County. How does it feel? Yeah, delighted to get it done. Uh, very easy decision for me to, to sign up again uh, and really looking forward to the season ahead now. Why did you want to stay? Uh, well, I feel privileged that I was a part of um, the squad last season uh, to be a part of that team, to represent uh, Wayne and Liam and then, of course, be... Um, you know, part of this this community and this club, and it it was like I said, a very simple decision for me to to want to do it all over again. Um, it's very exciting that it's all coming together now. Um, we've got some players coming in through the door. Everyone's uh, like I said, very excited, looking forward to to the season ahead um, and and playing for Liam. Yeah, there was something special about last season, wasn't there? Despite everything that that was going on. The connection between the players and, and the supporters in particular was, was something else. For sure. Um, it, was, it was incredible to be a part of. Like I said, it's very rare that uh, a fan base stick with you um, throughout what we've had to experience as a collective. Um, it could have been easy for them to, to stay away, uh, but they didn't. They, they came in their, their incredible numbers, uh, which really spurred us on. And it, it looks like it's going to be another very, very exciting season for us. I think exciting is the word you use to describe things at the moment, and, and it certainly is. Were you excited to see the sort of players that have been arriving at Moore Farm over the last oh, week or so? Um, even from the first week we've been in to, to this week now, the, the level of, of training has just um, gone up tenfold with, with the, the players that have come through the door. Um, and I know uh, Liam and, and Pete Shuttleworth have been working extremely hard throughout the summer to, to ensure that you know, we can get the quality in the building that, that can give us a chance of promotion. And you know a couple of the new lads in particular, I think? I do, yeah. Um, I had a quiet word with Didzy over the summer, um, try and twist his arm into coming to us, which it didn't particularly need twisting. But um, yeah, it's great to see not only um, some very good players come through the door, but some really good lads as well, which I think um, is half the battle if you're trying to do something successful. Have you found pre-season so far? Not your first radio, of course. No, it's not, it's not my first one. I've had quite a few, uh, but it's, it's been enjoyable. Um, it's, it's great to get back in the building, work hard. Um, Liam's put on some fantastic sessions and, and the standard, like I say, has gone through the roof since, since the first, first session we've had. Liam described you to us as, as a culture signing. You're one of the guys that really sets the standard every single day. How do you see your role in the squad, in the group this season? Exactly that. Listen, I'm, I'm realistic as where I am in my career. Um, I know I might not be the first name on the team sheet, but I think my strengths lie um, not just in a match day squad, and it, it can be hard to see for for some people that aren't that aren't in it um, because you only get to see us for maybe ninety minutes for, for a week. But there's a lot goes into um, trying to create a successful team. Um, there's the culture of the club. There's the standards that need to be met every day, and yeah, I, I feel as though they play into my strengths and if I'm in the team or out the team, I'll, I'll try and continue to, to make sure that we're as ready and prepared as we can be to, to pick up three points. It's good to have you back. It's great to be back, thank you.